when I came into the Times building the first time for my interview, I was literally just struck by the kind of magnitude of the place. And six and a half years later, I still feel that way every day. As a child, I was pretty bookish, super curious, and very social. I'm not sure I would describe myself any differently today. I loved journalism. I loved writing. I just loved the New York Times. And I remember, I must have been eight or nine years old when the Iran hostage crisis happened, and I was totally enthralled by it. And so my parents just really kind of stoked my interest and got me into all the journalism that was unfolding around it. And I think it started there and never left. very clear to me that I had run my career up to that point, kind of playing not to lose, kind of not wanting to piss anybody off, not wanting to make too big a bet where failure was a real possibility. And if I wanted to really lead, I needed to be the person who said, there's a different way of doing things. And so I just made this choice that I would show up more as this leader I wanted to be in the next job. was not in pursuit of the next opportunity. But when I got that first phone call and I heard it was the Times, my immediate response was, of course, I have to go on that interview. But before I accepted the job, I asked a lot of people in my life, should I do this? And the answer I got back from most of them was, don't go work at a company where its best days of its business are behind it. It took me 10 days to like brave up, but my gut said, I love that brand. I love that mission. The day the Weinstein story broke, it was clear that this was the best kind of work that the New York Times does. It was deeply reported where the reporters had been given a long period of time to get these incredibly brave women on the record. If you invest in quality, original, independent journalism, you can find an audience for that journalism. We have the simplest business plan in history makes something worth paying for. It was such a lucky break in my career to get to work on what was a pretty hard puzzle, and it's been a ball. Mm -hmm.